Welcome back, tank fans. Right, today we mark the 50th premium tank purchase in my garage. And with that purchase brings me the Mutant M6A2E1. Of course, you can find this tank right now. From now until the 11th of March. Get yourself 7,800 gold and you can at least get the stock model. 8,500 will get you the loaded model. Things are as such. And 11,000 gold will get you the fully loaded model. Things are as such. I myself went with the stock model as the number of premium tanks will help helps me greatly in racking up the silver when I need it. So I went with the cheap seats. Just gonna give you a quick look at the package that comes with this. Notice the tier 10 engine. 105 tier 8 gun. But don't count on every shot being a penetrator because you'll be mistaken though it's got somewhat of a decent chassis it's got slow degrees and traverse I've actually opted to put the clutch braking perk on first to study it has a T29 prototype turret this is not the T29 turret don't buy this thinking you this is a T29 turret. This is a T29 prototype turret. Of course, radio speaks as itself. Here you see the equipment I put on, binocular telescope, large ball liner, coated optics, consumables are as such. As you can see the armor on the turret's quite nice. It's it's not bad at all. The back of the turret's got massive armor at 208. The sides of the chassis pretty much keep that chassis under undercover behind rocks and buildings. The front of it's even susceptible to massive penetration so you definitely want to keep that hull out of the line of fire. Very good hit points. Decent speed limit. Acceleration is very good on it. Chassis rotation 24 degrees. Turret rotation at 23, and it's actually quite nice. Rounds per minute, somewhat slow, but of course, keep yourself out of trouble when you reload. Camouflage is very, very low on this tank. You'll able to light right. You'll probably light right up like a beacon to the to the right tanks with the right perks. So with this we bring you mutants, monsters, and legends. With the 50th premium purchase I've gone back through and picked the top 30 tanks that I've wreaked havoc with. We ain't gonna play them all now here of course but we're gonna, we're gonna get into some of them and do some gameplay with them. We'll start right out with our mutant. So I've set this mutant up to more be like a sniper. Just with a slower reload. It's it's not one of those tanks you go across a field blowing rounds all over the place and you know when you shoot, you're not gonna be shooting again for at least ten seconds, so keep that in mind. And of course, like I said, this tank has only been sold one time. One other time other than this. So, if you're thinking about getting the Mutant, jump on it before the 11th because it may not come back for a long, long time. But I could be wrong. They could be, they could bring it back next month, you never know.
So let's see if I can keep this thing out of trouble. See if we can make our mutants, monsters, and legends perform here. We've got enemies incoming. Either take them out or capture their base. Let's go. As you can see, this is not the T-29 turret. Optics this is, is much different. Much different monster. Well, we can tell the T-1 chassis. That don't appear to have changed much. I was 4 0. My first four matches, they survived. And won victories. So, my last two matches, I have been. have been blown up. I did put up a hell of a fight. This is actually my third attempt at this video. Technical issues, the things, the things, but back at it. I figure instead of just doing a full fledged review, I'd do more of a just damn. Just kinda start something a little bit different. I didn't mean to show off a lot more of my tanks, and I've really been kind of neglecting the game in that aspect, in which I haven't been wanting to. It's just a different deal with background noise and such. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, no, damn. I've been trying to do videos with background noise, and it hasn't been going well. Scrapping a whole lot of videos due to the way I record it right now. But, do what we can do. Maybe by this winter. I don't have to worry about the background noise anymore. If I choose to play the cards right. fun in the sun too much. So, I do, do, I have a feeling this is not a good place to go. Out of the way! Out of the way! This is not my goodness. This is too open. Way too open. No, this is not a good place to try. As you can see, when this thing gets shot, uh, it doesn't like you too much. Made the, made the hull on this thing very, very weak. It's actually, actually just got lower, uh, lower armor on the hull than the T-14 has on it, actually. Well, this is a long way to travel, but let's see if I can give these two a hand. I don't have much for hit points left, but come on, go. Shut that off. Not much for hit points left, but. I think it can still be some, some type of service. No. Damn it! That's a problem with this thing, though. Damn. Camouflage so low on this thing. It lights up like a beacon.
after the first four matches, I don't know, I'm almost inclined to say they actually are ready to nerf this thing. Should have recorded those first four matches. Called it good. Uh, what happens? We procrastinate. First four matches in this did not go like this at all whatsoever. Oh boy, with a 105. Here we go. Knew it. Oh, damn. Enemies are capturing the base. Going up that hill was a big, big, big mistake when I went up that first place. If I can make it to this little village. Much time left, so we're in trouble. Ready to fire. They've spotted us. Damn it, I spotted the wrong guy. Down in the mute. Um, have some app active ops. Is this why the game has done a 180 all of a sudden? What the hell? The hell is going on? That's why this game has took a flip. This is ridiculous. I thought I'd gotten rid of this crap that screws the game up, but yeah, you see it, folks. <laughs> oh. Well, let's go right out with the mutant again. Yeah, I have completed all of those silver campaigns, every one of them things, and now I thought I got rid of them. I've noticed 
I've noticed certain ops seem to somehow put you in different matchmaking in a way. I was testing it one day just to make sure I was remotely correct or somewhat correct in what I was thinking. And I thought I finally got rid of <laughs> these silver ops because they seem to be flipping the game in a weird 180 way and now they're gonna make me do all seven of them all at once now. Rotten boobs. This is what happens when you tell Twitter you're gonna be doing a live stream on World of Tanks consoles page. <laughs> Oh, but I've, I've selected my top 30. My favorite thing. Let's so. roll. We got we like seven days to do it, so we'll mess around with our mutants and monsters and our legends, and we'll see what we can do with them. See if we can finish that. Get them all tucked away. I'm gonna stay with these 29s since this thing is kind of a. Give me baby brother or sister to these things. Watch them. Oh, damn it. I see, I should have. I don't know why I aimed like that. It was poor. Poor on my behalf. Yeah. Down you go. like that but unfortunately the roller tanks console community is been quite toxic in the last two years of things been out and, yeah up, which is a shame area. really the game's a really good game too bad the community's grown so toxic damn I missed I've missed! I can just hold my ground. This tiger's gonna feel the beef. Come on over. Come feel the beef, my son. Loaded and ready. Friendly vehicle destroyed. Beef? They spotted us. Oh, go back. Ding. Come on, boys, let's go get them. Oh, butt cheek. Take that for me. Yeah, I got myself into a jackpot. Not going to make it home, Betty. Us. I'm getting blown up right now. Damn. <laughs> feel it. When you feel the seat get hot, it's on fire. <laughs> oh, a decent little gun battle on the hill. I should have kept it back, though. I should have tried to take some long shots. 105 can be a little, be a little trying. Kind of one of those tanks you want to try to get the long shots on, rather than pulling it right out there. The armor is just very, very susceptible to penetration. You want to be wary of it. Um, the long sights and things like that are some of the best ways to go. I may actually change the perk over to do the recon situation right now. See what that does for me. Sacrifice the clutch breaking. Right now, that match 
which is cooking. Let's go to our next tank. So many that we have to use this. The next tank we're going to use will be the Type 59. Hopefully, everybody got in on this at one or two the other week. Certainly, not one to be missed considered by Wargaming as a legendary rare. It may have the equipment set up a little funky on it, but... It's been a good tank for the most part. I've liked it quite a bit. And just its quote-unquote legendary rare status was kind of a... Well, I know. It's not been one of the tanks that they've offered many times, so it's, you know, it's the perfect marketing, you know, set up scarcity in, in a product, and when it comes out, it'll sell like crazy, which is what you have here with the 59, the Mutant, uh, the 3488, and some choice other tanks. But they're good tanks, and I'm glad I bought the 59. It's got the classic, classic tank, tank look that a lot of, a lot of people know. And it's quite fun to use. I mean, I've had my share of getting blown up in it and doing the old Rambo style across the floor. Got enemies in the area. You either have to take them all out or capture their base. Let's roll. Took every match. Took every match here, so you should really be having too much, too much fun. So, well, I help the heavies out with this thing. You see, the turret traverses very great on this thing, and the description, of course, boasts that the turret armor on this thing is insane. Just the roundness of the damn things, you know, I like the, I call it the low, but it's called the mobile, whatever the hell it comes with, but, yeah, it, it, it's somewhat true and somewhat not, I mean, they, they, a lot of times when you shoot at that turret of this 59, it spikes in the bounds, especially if you get it moving around, and as you can see it, it's somewhat fast on the somewhat fast on the turret traverse. Of course, you can be a lot more effective with your armor if you're taking a shot while you're reloading. You reload, kind of you know, back up, but kind of keep you keep yourself angled, but back up in a way. Try to anticipate that shot coming in turn just at the right time and deflect that shot almost almost every time. Not not every time, but it, it, it's it's good. There is one. Of the As you can see the 59's aiming somewhat slow.
gonna. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna. Enemies got us in their sights. I'm gonna try to Focus push this here. a little bit. I'm gonna try to get a zero. E4. That dog. Time for this. Driving here, I'm driving here. Enemies got us in their sights. Got the window across your cheeks. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Protect me. Protect me. Shot! 
Enemies looking right Come on, at us. boys. Do I have any help? Any help at all? Come on. We got it. Very good. Let's see the 59. Very versatile. Holds its own when it comes up to shots. Artillery. Yeah, you don't want to get hit by the artillery when you're in it, but. I think the 59 speaks for itself, really. It's a very, very good tank. Next one I wanted to do with this is MTLS. tanks that's another one of those decent tanks to especially for a low tier yeah, it's it's a very nice tank and quite rare too this I believe only came in the battalion founders pack the biggest founders pack you could get when it came out on Xbox One, which also included two other tanks. Uh, I believe I put on my little list here. Let's take this little thing out. Don't think. change this to this now we're ready yeah the MTLS this is one of those tanks that I've only seen for sale once and it came in that founders pack and I don't believe it's been for sale again it's been been a lot like that, like the mutant, and like the mutant six. And, you know, it's not often they bring it out. Port in the 
just now. The pot has stopped going blub de blub blub. I pulled myself a cup. Mmm. Nutty. It's a bit nutty. Oh! I forgot my camouflage. Hey, move that stuff. A boob. What a boob. I don't want to go with this thing. Well, let me go. I'll go through here first and actually gain access to something. Careful, I'm gonna get myself into a friggin' fishbowl here. Yeah. Do cannons on this is very effective. But the armor can be a little trying sometimes. Right now, maximum strength is at full volley. If if you're gonna release the thing, try to try to just empty it out and wait for the reload. They spotted us. Who spotted me? Oh, I better not be near that train. You're still getting already up too. Hidden me. Enemies looking right at us. Bail out. This vehicle is had it. Unbelievable. That's what happens, folks. He's gonna get his team over there killed too, because he's making all that racket over there and doing that kind of stuff. But such is life in the MTLS. Always a troll. Let's get back in to our... Hmm. Hmm. Take the old mutant back out for a spin. This time, why don't I take this off? I'm gonna put that on. I've noticed the crew taking a couple lumps here and there, and see if I can stop that. And I'm actually gonna take in. Try to help this thing out by hmm. I'm gonna try to conceal it a little better. Be doing this.
Of course, the perk still works. It's just more effective with the camo net. But let's see if this helps our survivability out a little bit. So I gotta say, the 4 and 0 match matches there. That was. I did have that. I was studying that perk before I went over to the clutch breaking. See? Really didn't care for the muddy, muddiness of it. So, so I changed it around. It worked good. First two matches. And experienced the, the wave. As I like to call it. to that little city this time. I usually go right on here, but All right, man. We've got enemies have in not been as this way for me to uh, see without the clutch break in this thing. It's like poop off road. Stay concealed so far. Not that I've made the point to get out in front of anybody here. Yeah. I know this. Target. Yeah. Somewhat of a. If you got some gold, you got you know, a good bunch of that might be good to as you're going through your tanks it might be good to actually you know spare some of that gold hold some of that gold in your account just to take some of the heavy hitters the ones you do better the best on and experiment with those perks you know exchange them use that 10 gold every time to you know find the perks that are working the best for the tank and you know stick with those and you know, study those ones Sometimes a perk you think is going to work might not work out to your favor quite so well. So, you know, never hesitate to try to keep a little gold in that account to be able to do that kind of stuff. Just like taking off the complex equipment too. To always save some gold to experiment with the different equipment, with the different perks and stuff and find that. Of course, looking on the internet, watching YouTubes and all that kind of stuff, you'll find people that share share their favorite mixtures of each. And, you know, of course, Enemy experimenting is a good way to find we your own find your own mixture too. Though you find that dominates better than anybody else. This is a good place to shoot that thing. Somebody's on a fire. I We're want you to burn. Ready to fire. Do you want some of my cheesecake? Nope. Guess not. If you back up, though, I 
can give him some. There you go! Mmm. Taste of lead. Mm, your lips. Want some more chocolate? Taking the base. Yeah, no. Perk I just put on. Just concealed this thing greatly. Oh, yeah. Other matches. They was they was picking me right up. Like nothing. Right across the map. At 29 would have already seen me by now. We he hasn't taken a shot vehicle. at me yet. Come on, boys, keep it together. Get Enemies are capturing the base! No, 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 stop. That same email, that has no armor to it whatsoever, hardly any. I mean, it shows it on the tail of the tape of the thing. Reloaded. That thing's got some horrible, horrible armor on it. Just like that. Nash one. That thing. Oh, I hate sight. that thing. We got him. See, he didn't even see me. I'm right there next to him. Come on, boy, keep it together. Guys, I to shoot. They spotted us. I can't believe it. They're right there too. What are they doing back there? It's it's crazy. Everyone fall back. Two basically just threw that match. Sixty-two thousand for a defeat, though. It's a good tank and I like it. So join oops. So join me next time when we take another look at the mutants, monsters, and legends. Thank you for joining me on this World of Tanks video. We'll talk to you next time. Take care.